Number 68. Identify the type of crystalline solid, whether it's a metallic, a network covalent, an ionic, or a molecular crystalline solid that's formed by each of the following substances, and then we have ethanol, which is C2H5OH. All right. So there's four different types of crystalline solids. We just have to figure out which one is this one. I kind of wrote down a cheat sheet here for you guys to memorize to help you out on your test or quiz, but let's just run through them. I guess we'll start from left to right. So in order for something to be a metallic crystalline sub, uh, solid, just know that the word met metal, right? The word metal is in the word metallic. So if you're a metallic crystalline solid, you would just see a single metal. So I look over here and I say to myself, okay, well, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen, if I did look up all of these elements on the periodic table, we would see that these are all non-metals. So it can't quite possibly be a metallic crystalline solid because I don't have even a metal. Metallic crystalline solids would just be like iron by itself or copper by itself. So moving on, is it an ionic crystalline solid? Well, ionic solid comes from an ionic compound. Remember those all the way back at the beginning? These come from either a metal plus a non-metal, but once again, we don't have the metal, and it can come from your polyatomics. Those were all the way in the beginning of chem, right? But I don't spot out any polyatomic ion here, so it can't be a ionic crystalline solid. Let's move on to molecular. Now, molecular crystalline solid comes from molecules, and molecules are always covalent compounds, and those are all non-metals, and that's what I have here. I just have all non-metals, so probably molecular, but let's just make sure that it's not the network covalent. A network covalent crystalline solid is the equivalent of the metallic crystalline solid just in non-metal form. Metallic crystalline solids are just a single metal. Network covalents are just a single nonmetal. But here I have three different nonmetals. I got carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Also, any uh, compound that has silicon as the first element is also going to be a network covalent crystalline solid. But I don't have any uh, silicon here, so that's out the window. So this one would be a molecular crystalline solid. And that's the end for this video. Crystalline solid. Let's highlight it out. Ooh, love, I love this green. Every time I, even every time I highlight, I'm like, Ooh, I love that color. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys like it too. Thanks for coming here and watching the video. Um, Love helping you guys out. I hope you do well on your tests and quizzes. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Good luck in all your future studies, and hopefully we can help you out with those as well. We also got math videos and physics videos on the channel, so go check it out. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out, and thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.